Four years ago, the price action was exactly the same it is right now in crypto, and it was very, very poopy. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember the exact feelings I was going through, friends, and I'm going to show you the log chart of COPE. Of course, I love putting a log chart of COPE. This is the Bitcoin price, and I remember this period, friends. See, all you just see is a couple of red candles here, but this period was DeFi, okay? It was an actual big DeFi season, big DeFi, all right? And it really put Ethereum and everything else on the map here when it comes to DeFi. You had Chainlink, you had Aave, Synthetic Trailing. Of course, prices got destroyed. You also had the real DeFi unicorn discovery, which was Uniswap, the DEX, pretty much gained popularity. The, un the formula is awesome. Everything trades as ratio. It's amazing. And then we have the combination of Compound releasing their coin by using their protocol. I mean, it just sounds like such a genius idea that would work, hey? where you're just like, well, who's going to own a part of the protocol? I know. Let's give it to people who use the protocol. It makes so much sense. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Nothing worked. Oh, man. Let's play some pop music for everyone. Man, we're going to need some. <laughs> Nothing worked. Fuck this industry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's just... You tried, we tried. Now, we are exactly, look, the price action, friends, it really does feel like we've just had this, where we've just had this run-up of DeFi, and then we've had this one dagger, bank. That's what it feels like we've happening. And now we just have to, like, pray that we don't basically go to zero, okay? That's what it feels like right now. You see how we had this sideways period and then smack. Now, of course, the price action looks differently because Bitcoin was one of the runners, the fierce, ferocious runners, but if you want to see what it actually looked like back then, we can go and look at the other's BTC ratio. Yes, here it is right now. So this is what it looked like back then. Friends, you know, that same chart I was looking at. at. Other's BTC ratio, very, very important. Okay, so we have pretty much we had that DeFi season run up and then yeah, bang, that was pretty much what happened. We had this double bottom, okay? We have bottom one and it comes back to this bottom two and then actually just literally just goes absolutely to the moon, just rockets to the moon. This is the actual final old season wave number one, okay? Now, that's where we are today. If that happens again, okay, it's, it's where we are right now. We have this poopy period, double bottom, right? We have this double bottom whack and we're just hoping we do this vertical part up. But that's exactly, look, we haven't deviated out, man. It's the fractals repeating, cycles repeating, the global liquidity index is repeating. Okay, so four years ago, we entered this dog poop crypto period as we are right now. The right thing to do was buy cheap market cap coins. <clears throat> okay, cheap friends. C-H-E-E-E-3-3-E-E-P. Cheap. What was cheap back then? There's an actual formula, all right, because I remember making a post. It showed all these coins that went on to do a 100x from exactly four years ago. Coins like Matic, coins like Sand, coins like Mana. And, you know, I'm just, just going to show you, okay, what they ended up doing. You can come here and look at, friends, for example, you can look at like Matic USD, all right, and make, you can look at the full price chart. And, yeah, man, that was pretty much what it was doing and it ended up going absolutely ballistic. So if you want to have a look at the proper chart, you can log chart. I mean, you have absolutely insane, right? You have, wow, 182X, but you also have things like, so yeah, one day Matic gives you the full uh, market cap for Matic. And here you go, Matic market cap. This is what you want to look at, friends. Now we're now we're actually cooking with gas. This is like really important. See that? Look what Matic was back then. You know, you're looking at 30 million to 100 million market cap. You know what I mean? So let's just do like, you know, around 60 million-ish. Look where that I'm growing to. All the way up to, what's this, 16 billion? That's huge, right? But... Man, that's a unicorn winner. Once again, we can't anchor to that, man. That's alt layer one. Okay, Ethereum became too expensive and Matic positioned itself as Ethereum friendly. Right, and Aave chose Matic to deploy on there off the back of the season of DeFi. So, you know, but even, even if, friends, you looked at just like vaporware stuff that nobody uses anymore, like sand, the sandbox, I mean, this still went ballistic as well, right? You still have absolutely big numbers up here. Look at this. This is in 2020. So if you go back to that four-year period, this is the poopy time. Sand launches. Oh, man, that's wild. It does a 204x. That's crazy, man. And you know what I want to do, friends? I wonder if you can look at Sand's market cap. 
What I've actually had to do now is go to CoinGecko, friends. You see this market cap button? I've had to push market cap. So you can actually see what it started off as. Look at this, 20 million. See these numbers down here? What we might do is, friends, might be a bit racist here. But you see, look at this. It was around 20 million market cap. So around here, shoots up to about 500 million. And in the final burst, this is pretty much it, goes to 5 billion. Wow, there's another 10x. This is very, this is very unlikely. You need a whole new season to appear, that final 10x again. My man, look at this. If you go from 20 million friends to 500 million, you did a 25x So from today. So it's like, yeah, obviously it's one of the big winners. But yeah, it's like basically your whole portfolio, everything you're holding today in that small category, it's like you're doing 25x. Okay, now obviously it goes on to do 200x. But once again, don't rely on that final old season wave, that second one to appear because you just, you truly never know. Okay, and that's why I have here. Cheap was anything under 50 million market cap. It's the truth, man. Everyone, you know, man, I know market cap. Everyone expects these things to keep going exponential. Yeah, man, the growth rates just slow down. The bigger you are, the harder it is for you to climb on average. And we know that. We know that we can keep hoping and coping, but we already see how tough it is to keep growing. But that's why, man, if you take the time to buy the cheap stuff, which is what we're doing, and then pray, there's a lot of praying, hopefully you come out, with a nice big fat moonshot at the end. But there are no guarantees, you know? And obviously, like friends, there's so many coins on Pulse Chain, right? Uh, you have, for example, Orange Man Good, Pika on Pulse Chain, all of these friends. They're all in the cheap zone boxes. This is OMG. You have, there's heaps of others, right? You can even have Pika on Pulse Chain. It doesn't matter what it is. There's so, so, so many. You even have Dick with Bud as well. It's the same story everywhere accumulating and everyone's waiting to see, you know, what's the speed gonna have gonna do. Just tick a Bitcoin, cult there. What's going on with Zen? There's so many coins, even on Ethereum land. I mean, haven't even started on the Soilana stuff. It's all about just picking a community that's gonna commit who's gonna be holding the, the megaphone and yelling. All right. Now if you're able to win in those coins, friends, many of them were able to give, you know, the 20x to 400 x returns. Let's just like dude, calm it down though. Like a 20x from here, that'd be really good if we're able to get that in pretty much in all our portfolios. But those are 20x in the real winners because, like, man, we can go back, friends. I know. Let's just look at Litecoin, for example. Okay. Let's go look at Litecoin. And I want to look at the Litecoin index over here, which is it right now. And, you know, we can put on a log chart just to show you where was September 2020. It was around here. All right. So what did Litecoin do? This piece of crap from September 2020 to the top of the cycle. Man, only did a 9x. Ah, see the discrepancy, man. So Sand and Matic, they do, you know, over 100x. Okay. They do a 100x. And then Poopy Litecoin does a 9. And you're not selling at the 9. Look at this. You don't sell at the nine. Look what happens, friends. Two weeks later, you're back down 70%. That's crazy, man. So you're only up 3X. Man, that's a nightmare, man. That sucks ass. You know, XRP, we know got destroyed because of the you know SEC and stuff. But as well, from September, okay, all the way to the top, you only get a 7X from here. You know, if you want to look at Ethereum, so, you know, Ethereum as well was, was fantastic. Look what it did from September to the very, very top of that first wave, that is an 11 to 12x. So as you can see, man, you know, all these coins, they were heavy market cap coins. Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, they were heavy market cap coins. And yeah, there was the Soilana winner. There were things like that, but yeah, it sucks. I mean, it sucks big time. Now I'm gonna show you Link, but Link was a special case because Link rallied in the DeFi year, okay, it actually, it did all of its bubble pop in 2020, the DeFi year, okay, so it was still able to go 5x from here, is that what, like, Soilana's gonna do from now, maybe, you know, maybe that's what Soilana does, you know, everyone expects much higher, maybe Soilana, because it's done all the big move already, it can only do a 5x from that point, that's interesting, but then what do people do, friends, I, you just see it, right, they'll go to, like, Doge, they go, well, what, what did Doge do in that time, wow, Doge did, a 283x, that was unicorn though, unicorn stuff, okay? So cheap coins, man, cheap coins. Now, it's not a guarantee that if you just had a freaking cheap coin, it went up. But you get to see that if it's strong, man, you just, you fly. You can fly. And it's, it's, it's amazing if you're on the winner. Sucks if you're not, all right? 
And that's why it's up to us to try, you know, see which other sticky coins, what do people want, what's the product market fit, what are people going towards ultimately at the end of the day. And yeah, man, it looks like it's freaking like meme coins so far. Maybe a new technology appears where we can participate, maybe get some sort of edge there, okay? But look, look at this tweet from this gentle sir. Tree of dopamine. Putting my money in real projects was so effing dumb. I can't believe how many times I've fallen for this. Yes, my friend. Yeah, it seems to be. Remember, everyone comes in for a certain cycle trope, a certain cycle narrative, and they believe it in their heart that that's pretty much, uh, that's the way forward. That's what that's what they think it's like going to continue the crypto narrative. And then, you know, uh, the narrative changes. It morphs, and then you realize that people just want to speculate. They want to make money so bad, they don't actually care about the story, man. They don't really care about the story. They care more about making money than the story of the tech and stuff. They care more about that. And that's why I have my my friends, Mr. John Coffey from The Green Mile, one of my favorite movies. Engagement has crashed. Nobody's checking their phones anymore. Everyone is calling for a 40K Bitcoin. This time it's different. The legit coins dropped minus 80% alongside the means to, I'm tired, boss. Yeah, so that's actually what has happened. If you look at all the other coins, the, the stuff that they told us was legit and it's backed and it's got a big vision. They're all down 60, 70, 80% as well. They just never got the pump in the first place. Well, look, four years ago, friends, it was the exact same thing. It was literally the exact same thing. And I remember I... Mentally, I pretty much I threw in the towel. I didn't really throw it in, but I said to myself, well, go, well, you know, this whole thing looks like a scam. Um, and if you don't start rallying here, I'm going to start choking some people out. All right. I don't care if I go to jail. I don't care. And that, where was that point, friends? I was exactly here. It was literally exactly here. I, I, friend, I remembered I woke up one morning. It was that September, man. I looked in the mirror and I said, man, if you don't just go up in a straight line up only from here, I'm literally just going to start murdering innocent people. All right? That's it. I'm starting to take lives. That's the only... That, I, I need my seven pounds of flesh. Because you got to remember, man, look what we sat through. Look what we sat through, okay? Firstly, this was the premature ejaculation where Bitcoin goes up too high in June 2019. It's still gone nowhere for all this period of time, all right? But now it's post-halvening, right? So here we are right now. That's about three, four months post halvening, and look where we are right now. We look at three. That's where's a hundred days post halvening. Oh, we're exactly right here, friends. We're literally exactly right here. So, yeah, <laughs> you better go up only, man. I don't want to start choking out puppies and innocent people out there. All right. Um. Ultimately, it's just you know it's the same thing all over again. You know, you're just gonna have to watch the crowd come in. There's going to be different narratives that form. Different tech maybe like, you know, surprises people. Tech, right? Coins go up. People start buying stuff. You never know, friends. Like, look what happened with NVIDIA. NVIDIA went up that it helped push crypto AI coins. See? Because NVIDIA hit 3 trillion market cap, man. So what if another real world event happens that just makes people want that theme in crypto that's something funny you know what i mean um now obviously trying to guess that theme literally near impossible don't even try it but i'm just showing you that uh the the cycle's not over yet it's exactly where we are four years ago we're still playing it out yeah i trust me i wake up every day i'm like man i don't look at this stuff just get out of here you're all a bunch of scammers you know i feel the same thing too but yeah technically we have nothing we have nothing literally to go off except that four-year cycle and it's been playing out exactly, exactly the same. Nothing's changed. And yeah, look, I would love a staircase up. I would love that. I wish we were like, you know, five or 10x higher. I wish that, friends, because then you're getting paid for being early in the bear market. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, most coins, many of the coins, it wasn't worth it. It was literally totally not worth it. Like, yeah, you got a cheaper price, but it feels, feels disgusting now. People can come in now and technically, they can go way harder, way more aggressive in the altcoins and buy more of the altcoins. But they actually never do. It's just that's like a, a fan fiction that you have in your head that you always think like someone out there has been watching you, you suffer for a long time. And then finally, after a year and a half, they have all the confidence in the world to come buy your poop coins and make all the money. No, no, they don't. They'll nibble, but they won't do that. Okay. There's no, no way people have been watching the whole way 
watching all this disaster. They can't imagine things start to just turn around, okay? So this is pretty much the Bitcoin price. I've already showed you in other videos, well, friends. Like, you know, Bitcoin going below $52,000. Pretty much pings, an extended bear market, you know what I mean? That's a, that's a weekly super chain, okay? And we are exactly where it was before. That I'll never forget that. It's September 2020. And obviously, what happens next? Well, what happened last time was Bitcoin starts to run up towards its high. Okay, it starts to run up towards its high. And I'm just going to show you the other's BTC ratio. You see... Last time, friends, it was actually here, right? So I'm actually going to show you where September is. It is September's around here, right? So altcoins were actually still high, right? Bitcoin ran up towards the high while these altcoins were dropping. So that's why the others BTC ratio, This remember, it's a ratio, yeah? So how can this ratio go down in number? So I'll just show you right now, right? Others BTC. So this number, could, well, how's it go down? Well, you have, you know... The others, so the altcoins, they were sinking at the same time. Bitcoin's actually going up, okay? and everything was splitting up. And look when it finally reversed. It finally reversed this period here. But instead of like looking at where we were in this time period, I just marked the weekly super trend here. All right, that's what I like to look at. And look what ended up happening is you, you have a weekly super trend. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red weekly candles, and then you start moving up. Another way to look at it is how long before we were kicking again? It was 84 days. So from when you flip red, it was 84 days. What about the cycle from before? Okay, when you flipped red, how long before the friendship came? When you flip red, it was, here you go, 77 days. So, I mean, like, we've seen, how many times have we seen a symmetrical, exactly 100% prediction of these random things happen? Here we are, friends. We have flipped here. Where would like 80 days be exactly for us? It's literally mid-August. Okay, it's literally mid-August here. So this thing can go down as Bitcoin rises up too strong and then flush, flush up. Oh, man, you could just keep, just keep doing this. You could just keep doing that. But that's around that time period. Okay, you can actually see it right from the fractals here. You can actually see in the fractals. It's around mid-August. Yeah, it's about... A month to go, things start to turn around and start to go up. But you're not going to, trust me. Yeah, look, you're not, you're not going to feel good, man. You're going to feel good, even though they start to go up, because you just feel like, oh, man, you you need to be 20x higher for the, the torture you have put me through, you piece of crap. Down minus 95% everywhere, bleeding against Bitcoin, no cash flow anywhere, empty promises, inflation dumps, nothing holds value, you're all a scam. That feeling in your heart, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, it takes a while for it to work its way up. But hey, at least you're not going down. Okay, so that's pretty much if it repeats again, friends. If it repeats again, that's what we're looking at. This mid-August period, but, you know, for these green candles to start moving its way up. And yeah, hopefully it ends up with a nice surprise where then we start to accelerate and then we get, you know, that conclusion, which might be, you know, working its way up to the sell everything box, which is final alt season wave number one. Once again, you don't know. You don't know. If we're going to get final all season wave number one and two, we don't know that. Two waves. It could literally just be one wave. It can come at the very, very end. We've got no idea. We don't know what the narratives are going to be like in between. You know, if you're holding pulse chain, you don't know. Is your one going to be in here or is your one going to be in here? Or do you have one in the third one? Is it going to be a shocker one in the third one? <sighs> Fingers crossed. Like, subscribe, belly button, all. Don't forget to love to catch you soon.